we begin with a story you will only see on 9. An El Paso County judge said his hands are tied when it comes to who can decide the fate of hundreds of migrants being detained over riot charges. Good evening and thank you so much for tuning in to KTSM 9 News at 6. I'm Monica Cortez. And I'm Andy Morgan. The migrants were arrested back on March 21st in an illegal crossing that went viral on social media. KTSM 9 News reporter Tirza Ortiz was at the courthouse today and joins us in the studio tonight with how it all played out. Tirza. Andy, Monica, because of the way the state handled transfer orders between courts, an El Paso County judge said he did not have jurisdiction to hear the cases of those hundreds of migrants, leading him to dismiss the charges altogether. My hands are tied. Those were the words of El Paso County Judge Ruben Morales after dismissing and discharging more than 200 migrants being held on misdemeanor rioting charges. The county's chief public defender's main argument, the state did not follow proper legal channels to transfer jurisdiction. Approximately 108 of those were handled by my office and 106 were handled by 34 different private attorneys and we all uh, worked together to accomplish the dismissal of those on subject matter jurisdiction grounds. Childress says the district attorney office's move to indict and have the cases heard by a grand jury was abnormal and a waste of resources. Tremendous weight. Tremendous weight, not, not just my office, on multiple different county departments and offices. Childress suspects the state chose to indict for one reason. The only potential benefit to spending all those resources to indict these people is to avoid having a real hearing on the, mat, on the merits of the cases. Meanwhile, she said thousands of cases remain on the back burner while the DA pursues misdemeanor cases. My office alone has 1,600 cases awaiting screening by the DA's office. Uh, 800 of those have been waiting more than six months, 400 of those have been waiting more than a year, and these cases somehow 18 hours after they're dismissed for no probable cause, those are able to be brought to a grand jury, and it, it, it's very frustrating. Now the state said it would appeal the judge's decision today, but did not offer more comment. All 200 plus migrants represented today will still need to be handed over to ICE in order to be processed for a legal crossing. For now, live in the studio, Tears Ortiz, KTSM 9 News, back to you.